Imagine being able to play the most demanding video games without needing a PC, console, monitor or TV. Blurring the lines between what's real and what isn't. For example, playing Indiana Jones while having a closer look at the movie's famous artifacts. Or diving into your favorite piece of nostalgia and deciding to order a worthy snack. Which bring your titles to life in ways you never thought were possible. That's the future we're heading towards. Using lightweight, compact and most importantly affordable AR glasses. That wield the power of an entire gaming setup and can go wherever you do. See it as a handheld, but one that you can just wear on your face. Never missing out on the action. With devices like Apple Vision Pro, we're already getting a glimpse of what I call a cloud gaming revolution. Letting you invite your friends as so-called personas into your space and having them sit on your couch. You can play games together on a massive virtual screen and transport yourselves to limitless environments. Or when you decide to play alone, asking your AI assistant for advice when you need it. Thanks for asking. A quick tip to avoid getting scared in amnesia, just remember, nothing can physically harm you. It's just a game. And hey, cloud gaming is awesome until your internet makes it a suspense thriller. Yup, that's right. This week I had the chance to test Nvidia's GeForce Now within the realm of Vision OS, a cloud gaming service that works across all headsets supporting a browser, making clear the foundation for this future is already in place. From setup to gameplay, I was impressed not only by how easy it is to get started, but also by how immersive the experience can be. Seems like Vision OS and Nvidia's platform were made for each other. This already shows during its setup process. All it takes is opening a browser, heading to play.geforcenow.com and logging in. From here, you can get access to your very own cloud computer that does all the heavy lifting. If you're completely new to all of this, then don't worry, there's a free basic rig which you can try first. It's a great way to dip your toes into gaming from the cloud inside your headset, giving you an hour of playtime per session. After that, you could always consider the performance or ultimate subscriptions, which range from $10 to $20 a month. You're basically renting the power of a physical graphics card that you stuff into a wearable. Next level, I know. That said, Apple and Nvidia were generous enough to provide me with an ultimate membership, allowing me to test out the full package and pushing my vision to the limit. Unlocking 4K HDR, ultra settings with ray tracing, short queue times and frame rates that funny enough exceed what current headsets can handle. It's nice how nothing is locked away, letting you dive deeper into the settings of each game and tweaking them to your own likings. But in my opinion, the best part is that you don't need to download or update them. Everything is ready to go at the push of a button. No waiting and no hassle. You can link most of your purchased titles from Steam, Xbox Game Pass and other well-known platforms directly to your account. Once everything is linked, you can dive into your favorite games. In my case, the micro OLED display of Vision Pro is a pleasure for the eyes. Oh, games look absolutely stunning on it, with vibrant colors and incredible sharpness. It's so good, trust me. Next to that, it never gets old being able to place your screen wherever you want and scale it to any size you like. The possibilities of how and where are literally endless. That in combination with Vision Pro's 3D audio, this experience easily competes with a physical gaming setup. Yeah, switching between a controller, hand or eye tracking is seamless. I can keep Discord open on one side, social media on the other and still receive notifications from my iPhone directly in headset. It is worth mentioning, you can not only use a PS5, but also an Xbox controller. Or if you're feeling pro, a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse should do the trick too. They all connect to Vision Pro with no issues. Anyways, I think calling friends and inviting them into my space for a virtual LAN party is one of my favorite things to do. You can really feel their presence when you see them in digital form and makes interacting online much more natural. If it's for fun or a competition to see who unlocks all their achievements first, gaming becomes less isolating with personas. 
Now, you don't necessarily need to have buddies with a headset, as traditional calls work as well. Or when you have visitors at your real house, you can stream what you see to Apple TV. All these features make wearables the logical next step, bringing gaming and socializing online closer together. In general, for today's headset standards, GeForce Now is a great cloud gaming service that works well with Vision OS. Throughout my time with it, I noticed that the performance in single player titles has been consistently solid. Frames are high, loading times quick, and I did not notice any latency with my PS5 controller. However, online games are a bit of a different story. In super high-paced experiences such as Rocket League, even the smallest latency makes a huge difference and becomes quite noticeable once you start playing ranked. But for more casual titles like Halo or Portal, it's not really a problem. Of course, a strong 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection helps minimizing lag, and Nvidia recommends the following speeds for smooth performance. These requirements mean cloud gaming may not always be ideal for travel specifically, unless you have access to reliable, high-speed hotspots and you only care about the highest resolution. Well, the overall experience is very impressive in not only virtual but also augmented reality, there is definitely room for improvement. The limitations being not able to curve your screen, turn on ambient lighting or go full ultra-wide like you can on Mac. When switching to an environment, your controller magically disappears and its rumble and force feedback are missing too. Well, these are a must for every game session. I hope that one day Nvidia releases a dedicated headset app to make things a lot smoother and even more fun. Anyhow, Cloud Gaming on Vision Pro showed me that the future is indeed now. The ability to game on such a beautiful display, mixing in a stellar user interface with 3D audio feels like a leap forward. Sure, there are still challenges. Headsets need to get cheaper, smaller, need better batteries and become more portable. But we're already living in the early stages of a gaming revolution. Slowly, my physical gaming rig is gathering dust as I find myself drawn more and more to the convenience of cloud gaming in VR and AR. And as technology evolves, I can only imagine what the first generation of AR glasses running Vision OS or similar software will bring. The future isn't just coming, it's already here. If you're interested in trying this yourself, I will make sure to add links in the description below. GeForce Now is available on almost every major headset platform, which is amazing news for all of us early adopters. That said, hit that like button if you enjoyed uh, watching this and don't forget to let me know in the comments what your ideal setup looks like. As you just saw in the video, there are many ways to customize your surroundings, so show me how creative you truly are. And that's it, thanks for watching and until next time.